<laughs> I did it. Oh, shit. Uh, it's working this time. Perfect. Hi, it's me. All right. Hey. Apocalypse. <laughs> for my 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 apocalypse. I was in. I don't know what got destroyed recently. Uh, Somewhere it was awful Rusk. for them. Uh, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> it's me, your boy. Everyone at the tower, you all arrive, and after some 10, 20 minutes, Kyrie, your broom returns alone. Uh, which direction did it come from? It would have come from, uh, it would have come from out of the fog, so you're not 100%. Uh, but generally speaking, it came from the east. <laughs> Just the slight crunching noise. Um. <laughs> 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 yeah, she'll, she'll look to Maxine and Casper and be like, uh, do either of you have paper birds? Ah, shit. What's that? Ah, fuck. Yeah, let me look. Now I'm gonna start rifling through my bag. Um, I have, yeah, I have one. Okay, that might come in handy here. Ah, oh, uh, fuck. Uh, and... I'll, I'll pay you for it. It's fine. Nah, it's uh. fine. Ah, man. Oh. I'm gonna start writing. <laughs> oh. well, let's not do it right now. Let's wait till everyone is here. Uh, we need to ask the knights for their birds again. Um, oh man. Eric. Yeah. It switched back to Omar. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. I know you miss him, but damn. You when you get a chance, chance to dress it. <laughs> I, I just, just did. Don't. Okay. <laughs> so Omar just really wants to be a part of this. Hey guys, what's going on? All right, let's go save this guy. I don't know. All right. <laughs> but yeah, we need we need to we need to go. We need to let the others know right now. Yeah. Down below. Uh... <laughs> She said, in Regan, you'd be there as Maraska slides a shiny uh, ring that he had left on the table towards the two of you. <laughs> yeah. Grabs. I'll sell it um, at least 50 So gold. the ring itself is uh, a solid gold band with some light pattern etching in it. And there is uh, what looks like a red gemstone embedded in the top of the ring. Ah. Fairly hefty hold it up, sort of toss it in the air and then catch it like full palm and very much kind of flourish with it around for a second and then open palm, hold it towards Regan. He'll take it and then take Aji's size hand and like slide it onto her middle finger. <gasps> oh my. I'm not normally one for jewelry. Are you sure you don't want this? I don't think we could have gotten this without you. No, I'm sure that it's not every day your girlfriend cuts off a manticore's head, so I think that's something for you to celebrate. <laughs> Thank you. I'll show you. I'll have to show you the hunting grounds next time we head back towards my village. Hopefully, I get acquainted to them in a uh, a fun, uh, the hunter sense, and not in a being chased across them by your mother sense. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. This is some spooky music for the tone of this conversation. <laughs> you <laughs> see, a few of the other knights that had partaken in the expedition are receiving degrees of uh, medical aid. As some of them are pulling the quills from the manticore out of recesses in their armor. Yeah, did anyone of us end up hurt like that? Mm, I don't think so. We all got off pretty scot-free, right? I mean, Crust got uh, jostled around a little bit, but he seemed pretty okay. And if he's okay, everyone's probably okay. Should we go find them? I suppose we should go look for Krusk and the others. <laughs> if only just to make sure that they didn't get lost and stub their toe on the way back or something. You're making your way up of uh, two flights of stairs. Mm -hmm. As you reach the pinnacle, you find everyone else sitting there. You pass some birds that are either being pulled by different knights or seem to just be wandering on their own. Oh, nope. cool. There you guys are. Uh, yeah, so Krusk is uh, missing. What? Um, yeah, he flew off in my broom and got lost. And uh, like a dumbass, he got off of it when I called it back. Um, so yeah, we um, we it's might have to go and save him. As you turn and look out, you just see this thick layer of fog that's rolled in over the valley. Oh. All of you'd be <sighs> intimately familiar, given that you were in it recently. And you can't just uh, tell the broom to go back to where it was, can you? No. No, that would be far too easy. Yeah, we definitely Sweet. need to borrow these birds again. The broom came back from that 
general direction off in the east. Uh, but with the fog, it's going to be a little tough. Uh, hey, excuse me. Good, sir. Uh, yes. Um, so <laughs> we just hunted a manticore, yeah? Um, is there, like, anything worse that stalks around here? Or was that, like, is there, like... None that we would be aware of. We fly the skies around here pretty frequently. You wouldn't uh, happen yes, to know to. a space where there's a bunch of bones lying around, would you? Uh, that could be several layers. There are several... Uh, patches, if even beneath this very tower, several birds of um, similar nature to our vultures make their homes in the valley, mm. and uh, they feed on carrion and things, so bones tend to amass. You don't, uh, Kyra, you don't have any magic that uh, can track a person or a thing, do you? Uh, I mean, I do, but I don't have, I exhausted that magic for the day. Um, mm. If you I wish, I could you... inform Maraska, see if we can deploy a at least a small dispatchment. Max has a paper bird that we were planning on using to kind of at least give us a start. All right. Um, okay. Let's be ready on the birds uh, to take off. Sir Radoff? Uh, yes. Do you mind if we continue to use your birds? You'd have to ask Maraska himself. What is the punishment for taking an unauthorized bird? I mean, theft from a noble, it would be a crime. Okay, but what if mm. your friend is in All grave right, danger? Just, it could be. I know. I, this is, I understand your urgency. If you wish, we can dispatch some of our own men as well. We're experts in combing this area of the valley. It's basically the back of any of our hands. Please. Um, if someone's come with us, then it's not theft. Just why don't you all uh, take a brief moment to breathe? I'll go speak with everyone else. It's like hypothetical, really. We'll, we'll figure out what we can get done tonight. It looks like since we've been told that we should not take one of these birds on account of criminal consequence, uh, we're stuck here for the night. I mean, we can still ask for permission. We just got to find the guy. Let, let's just go. We The sooner we find him, the better. I agree. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Go, um, let's go find Maraska. You find uh, Thurl in much the same way you left them. Uh, he sat at the center of the table um, with... Uh, Sir Radoff and Sir Tybos speaking with them. Yo, can we borrow your birds? I've been briefed a bit on the matter. It might be dangerous to bring too many of you who are unexperienced in. Uh, I can have some of my men scour the local areas where there might be more of the... You said there were birds and bones, right? Uh, yeah. I could have my men check the local areas. He's, um, um... They should be relatively close. And most of them won't attack without uh, any sort of provocation. I don't know if it changes your mind, but I used to I used to live in the High Peaks and I have an exceptional memory for geography. Uh, it's possible that could come in handy, but leaving you alone while well, you might be able to find your way back, locating a creature would be a different matter entirely. Oh, well, we have a matter to do that. Involved. We have a small bird that if we address to him, we'll fly directly to him. We could then follow it. I see that would be, uh, I can't see why that wouldn't work. Yeah. You see him mulling it over for a moment. We got some people who are in and around the valley that we don't really like. Plus, it's dangerous, and our friend is, uh, among all of us, the, uh, he's the, the ultimate weenie. And we... The most likely to find trouble. We very much worry that he'll draw unwanted attention, that he'll explore, that he'll be too curious for his own good, or that any of the various people that we've told you guys about that we're trying to come here to get, uh, we are concerned that... They might, if they're tracking any of us down, we might find him. So we'd like to stick together, if we could. Please. I promise you we will find your friend. Uh, give us give us a few minutes to get some things settled up. We'll try and make it so we can accommodate you as best we can. Uh, if you'll have a seat, uh, there should be some food and drink left. And I think if you're going to be looking for someone, looking on an empty stomach is always a bad idea. Regan's just pacing. All right. Very much the same energy as Regan. Kyra is also just kind of fidgeting and like very much wants to like looking toward the door every five seconds. Just kind of wants to leave. No one has any way to contact him, right? I no. did contact him, which is how I learned as much as I did. Uh, did you tell hour, him I could do it again? Did you tell him to stay in one place? Uh, yeah. Um, we'll see if did a leaf you, listen? Your, have, your friends have a bad track record with doing that. Do you mm, think he'll stay yeah. in one place? No. Okay. 
Mm. Uh, are you freaking kidding me? So you say in an hour you can do it again? Yeah, once more. Mm. As much as he has a knack for getting in trouble, he also has a knack of getting through it. He survived coming here, didn't he? But have oh. some faith. Just like no, I do. Stress, stress petting Flair. Regan will come over and just scritch under Flair's chin. You I have wanna... complete faith in him. <laughs> the doors open as uh, you see Thurl um, <laughs> flanked by several other the Feathergale Knights uh, walking in. Uh, you see some of them fixing their belts and adjusting them. He looks right. to each of you. All right, I think we can at least get a few people moving. Have you all rested at least as much as you can? That would help, Master. Yep. Max will give a thumbs up, half-heartedly. How long was that gap? Would you say, Aaron? Uh, from the time he was gone, you're looking at about an hour. Yeah, they said well, they needed could, about an could hour. Could I have done our recover? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'll, I'll mark you all a short rest. Oh hell yeah! Third yeah. little slot, gimme. What about me? Do I get a short rest? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you said you were good with navigation. Yeah. He is just looking at you. Uh, you'll ride with me. The rest of you, you can be accompanied by Radoff Tybos and right. um, Savra. We're going to be using uh, our our bird to navigate, mm. so we got to make sure to let that go before we do anything. Yep. Making it's it. Fine. Do you have any preparations to do? Writing uh, it. Max is just holding a pencil so. and scrawling out a letter. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Fantastic indeed. Can I incite this guy? Yeah, he's being a little can, pushy. I was thinking the same. Can I? Can I try thing. to see if he's like? How does what? What's his vibe? As uh, as you're saying that, you see him behind Maxine raising a great sword. Rolls insight. I think he's bad. What the great fuck? Sword going up. Oh no. <laughs> I hope right. you know I just started there. writing the letter too. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. This Dear is Cross, great. we desperately need to. What the fuck? Oh no! Oh gosh! Ah, oh, great so coming. I think he might be bad. Anyways, Cross talk more later. And, <laughs> oh no! I love you. Oh no! I click send. <laughs> that was a bit untoward. Perfect. I'd like to insight <laughs> that guy. Which one? That one raising a great star behind me. Oh. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna trust my instincts. Oh, Man, I, I thought I was gonna be the guy, the one in danger today. I, I hope it's <laughs> not. I hope it's not all of them. I really hope it's not all. I don't. I, mm. I hope can you all roll me initiative, please? Yeah, I mean, yeah, if yeah. it is all, then we can take yeah. their guns. <laughs> Again. Oh, I I'd like to, to imagine that. Well? I'd like to imagine you know then what, the champ for. For flavor, you know what? <laughs> just for flavor, I want to imagine that as Aji says, saying that she will point out <laughs> that he's doing that and raising his sword and be like, Maxine, behind you, just to maybe rationalize your twenty slightly. Yeah, mm. better yet, Maxine not looking back. Guys, <laughs> the her plank is up. going first. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, plank. Stiff as a board, he jumps into action. <laughs> Don't say stiff. Renolfus Darude. No. Fucking serious. Thurl Maroska. You know what? I hope he marries your daughter, you fuck. <laughs> He's not here. He's not here. <laughs> you should remove him from the combat tracker. Save that for when he gets here. No, he can't join. I will see to it that Krusk marries your daughter. <laughs> you know what? Because, like, wait a minute. I'm a free soul. <laughs> Wait a minute! We will all wingman the shit you know out what? of Crust. We're all gonna marry your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Those last still a long rest, so yeah, you're, he does exactly your temp HP in, in damage and his first swing. Oh. That's great. Oh, fuck. He then is going to do it again. That is a Mitchell. miss as the first one connects with your back. There's this flash of arcane energy as the, the blade is deflected off of you. You get pushed down onto this, turn around and see him winding up for the second one. You step to the side as the greatsword embeds itself in the wood, sending splinters of it shattering across the room. He rips it out and readies himself. That's him. 
Kyra, Sir Radolf steps out and swings twice as flashes of your uh, mage armor begin deflecting the blade off of you. Oh. This is both attacks. Woo! The fuck? Next up in initiative, Maxine. <gasps> Maxine, uh -oh. get him. You right, smudge my ink, you fucking dick! And I'm a <laughs> get my hammer out and I would like to rage. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Bonus action rage. <laughs> and I'm gonna fucking hit him! <laughs> Bah! That's oh! in that one, Maxine. <laughs> that is a miss. That's you got it. You got a twenty on initiative, and then a one on your first attack. Am I Avi? One more time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Ah, there that's you go. much better. Twenty-five. And I'm gonna, hit. I'm gonna second level divine smite. Uh, Take seven. some damage, stinky. Check that. Oh, stinky. twenty-eight points of damage. <laughs> I'm a scream in his face, and that's my turn. Okay, mm -hmm. Jesper. Oh uh, man, he's gonna look forward. He's gonna like have like a like a like already like chugging down like part of a beer. It's like, <laughs> like dropping. <laughs> <laughs> Falls out of his chair. Head pops back up. <laughs> he's gonna take a second, and then he's just gonna look over. He goes mm. up. Salafaline jumps onto the jumps onto the uh, to the uh, to the uh, table and starts chucking knives. Putting him at <laughs> eye level with everybody else. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, bastards! I need to see you! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna start attacking the one near Kyra. <laughs> Roger, daughter. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, I will use my, my my thing to make two daggers in my hands, uh, mm -hmm. and then I'll use my bonus action. I'll use my, my bonus action to throw them both. So, first dagger, hiya! Is a 24. Let me check on Sir I think you're oh, almost certainly hitting. I uh, just have to check. Yep, got four points of damage. And the second attack. Hey, yup. All right, this one, this one will be the will be the, the sneak attack, even though you know. <laughs> I love Iron Fan. Hey, yup. Twenty four. That also hits sneak attack. You deal twenty two <laughs> points of damage. Nice. Come at me! Kicks <laughs> like, kicks like one, of the, one of the drinks over. And oh, we've got turn. two of them now. <laughs> hey, little punk! That's my fucking one. <laughs> you shit. All right, uh, from Casper, Tyra. Oh boy, well, there's a whole gaggle of boys right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and would it go, it does go around corners. So would it get those other boys too? Yeah. Okay, then I'll do that. Fireball, the anti-cover. And uh, yeah, no, she's, she's surprised and she's angry. So I'm gonna say she's going for, um, I'm gonna do on my ninth level fireball. Ninth level? Oh, you're using a necklace? No, I'm using my my wand. Oh, oh I see. All right. Hapya. Oh, did you did they did you roll saves? Did not. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it just hits, Logan. Come on. <laughs> Save. Fail, all of you. Uh, Thurl succeeds and Saver succeeds. The other two fail. Uh, okay. So Thurl and Sav are going to gain back 26 uh, points. 26 each. 51 damage, though. <laughs> One, two, okay. roll. Three. 20, real quick. There's five sixes in that damage hell you yeah. did. I keep my wand. Yay. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. All right, that's Kara. Ever charges in. She's going to charge past this one and up onto the table. Uh oh. <laughs> As she pulls out her sword, she points it at you, Kyra, and she's going to swing. Okay. That's a miss. Hell yeah. These guys are not rolling well. No. <laughs> Against the wizard. There we go. That's a hit. Uh, I, will, I, I, will, it. I will shield. You will? What does it make your AC? Uh, 21. 21? As the blade is just about to make contact with you, they rolled a 20. You just block it with the shield. Oh, Fuck yeah. Enemies of water deep, you will die today. As she steps back and takes a defensive stance. Oh, you're gonna burn, bitch. Oh, bitch, I said come at me! Uh, and then they are going to run <laughs> past you <laughs> <and> <laughs> towards the fireplace. Uh, they would exit Regan and I'll just say both of your ranges. I you will make, make an attack against them. Uh, does a 19 hit. That's a hit. Yeah. Ideal. 12 points of damage. That's awesome. They take that. Regan, are you making an opportunity attack? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That hits. Woo! 
Oh! As they start rushing yeah. past you, uh, Regan extends their staff out and trips them up. And as they're caught in the air, I'll just say you bring your sword down under their spine. There's a dull, like, cracking sound through their thin layer of armor. And you see them fall to the floor, lifeless. Huh. Those have much less health than the other ones. I'll just say your turn. Good job, honey. Now, as for the rest of you, someone should really explain why we're enemies of Waterdeep. In the meantime, until somebody does, I'm gonna be an enemy of Waterdeep. And I'm going to go ahead and, let's say, I'm gonna ignite Hikari Kiba. I'm uh, going to go to there. I am going to make attacks against, this one's in my way. Uh, I'm going to attack Tybost. Hey, Tybost, this is your one chance to move. Not likely. All right! <laughs> You're 17. 17, as you swing towards it, he brings his blade up and parries it out of the way. Not if I use overwhelming advance. <laughs> Not if I And do this, insane. and I still oh, miss. No. Well, I have two attacks for a reason. Does a 19 My thoughts get exactly. Him? You can't parry that one. <laughs> uh, that is 20 damage. Oof. Uh... Presuming he's not down, uh, I am then going to Dragon Surge because I, I really want to get over to Thurl. So Dragon Surge, I'm going for two more attacks, presumably on him. I can't do that again, by the way. I presume a 24 hits. That hits? Yeah. Oh, no, no. That one's a miss. No. <laughs> <laughs> Regan, your turn. Okay. Well, this is getting fucking ridiculous, isn't it? I'm going to wild shape into an ape, thank you very much. Ooh, Whoa, yeah! yeah. 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 Where'd Regan go? <laughs> What'd you do to her? <laughs> When's the last time you wild shaped? I haven't wild shaped since we were sneaking around this place when I was a little sneaky snake. Oh. I haven't done it in combat in a minute, and I wanted to be an ape. I want to punch things. <laughs> I'm gonna hang out where I am, just as monkey. I can't bonus action right now, but I'm gonna hang out as monkey. Flare. Snake. Oh, Flare. Snake. What's your snake doing? Um, I will uh, have him like do a little hiss and distract um, the one that is to the south of me. All right. So Flare is going to aid. Um, they they yeah. snippy snap over at Sir Radolf and distract him for a moment. Is that Flare? Uh, yep. Yeah. Hey, can someone give me the ha the yeah, help boy. action? <laughs> you no. wait your fucking turn. <laughs> Back yeah. to the top. Bensley, you find oh. yourself perched atop a, a rickety staircase on the side of a cavern that plunges down into eternal darkness below. All right, Thurl's turn. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> they never expect that. I go of my own uh -oh. free will. Thurl um, brings Thurl? their hand up to their chest, and you see this... A uh, series of runes appear around their body that begin oh. to glow and speed up in rotation before disappearing. Uh -oh. As he casts haste on himself. Oh! Oh! Hit the, hit the, the shit out of him. There's, There's two things, things it could have been. How dare right, that's his action to cast that. <laughs> Wail on that motherfucker. Hey, wait a minute. If that's I'm... Logan's move. <laughs> <laughs> that's Logan's move, trademark. Yeah. And he is going to uh, look at Maxine and look at Ajisai and be like, let's make this a little bit more fair in my particular situation. He's going to use his haste action to disengage and he's going to move um, right. one, two, three, <gasps> four, five. I've really got to take Sentinel. And he'll, yeah, he'll just buzz on over to there. Saradoff is You're going to. You're all not going to gonna do that, right? He's going to continue his onslaught. Oh, oh will me? you? Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> he looks and he's gonna swing at the snake that just bit at him. <gasps> no! Oh! You fuck! They're actually Monster. doing the thing that, that, that a lot of people not, don't hits. do to us for some reason. <laughs> Flair takes uh, 11 points of damage. Uh, does Flair, Flair is still under the effect, or it's still marked as under the effect of your spell. Flair is dead. Uh, Flair, yeah. <laughs> Bye, buddy. I was oh, like, Flair doesn't have full yeah, HP normally. Know, the like, looks to her shoulder as he goes flying off of it and just turns back to him, <laughs> eyes glowing and hair, like, lifting like fire. <laughs> your pet's kind of stinky, I'm just saying. <laughs> Maxine, your turn. Oh, oh, smile devilishly. This is gonna hurt. 
And she's gonna slam down Iron Fang and cast Shatter. Woo! Where are you targeting? Hear me out. Woo! <laughs> like, maybe... Yeah. You could do it's that fine. and not... I'm fine with it if you want to hit me. I'm going to be real. Um, you get four people if you move. That's you true. Another. I'm fine with getting hurt, too. Oh, okay, yeah, I can get jiggy with that. All right, yeah. target yourself, target Ajisai, and the uh, three adjacent knights. All right, all right, okay. <laughs> Save! Woo! Go, Max! Maxine succeeds, one of the knights succeeds, everyone else fails. Hey, Logan. <laughs> yeah? I'm sorry. That No, this is, I expected this to happen. It's totally okay. That damage. <laughs> As the nice. explosion bursts out from around you, several bits of their armor begin shattering as they b get blown back. Uh, the one in front of you into the closed door, the other one tripping over um, the uh, the exposed lanterns on the side, hitting his head and falling to the ground as you see bits of blood trailing at their nose and ears. Oh, that was fucking cool! I use some lunar hands, but beside the point, that was fucking cool! All right, that's Maxine. I will use Asper. some lunar hands. You got them out of my way, thanks. hi -ya. That hits, yeah, five damage. And second dagger. hi -ya. Oh, bam, 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 bam! hi <laughs> Get that snack attack, boy! Takes 15 points of oh, damage. Oh, yeah, I didn't do a ton of damage. Hooray! Dagger hits him, they grab it, and they drop to one knee for a moment as so they slowly wrench it out, and they just a smattering of blood pours onto the table. You, I, th I thought you had got... Uh, I'm going over here now. <laughs> <laughs> Goes over to the uh, to the fireplace and just kind of uses the fireplace as like a as like a little cat, like a little cubby. A little cubby. <laughs> you find a dagger just hanging loosely at the base of it. <laughs> Iron. I have a pretty old, a purely defensive wall. <laughs> I just saw you're on deck. Thank you. How high are the ceilings here? Uh, I believe the ceiling is about 20 feet high. Um, I am going to. I'm, I'm going to say I just had my broom out this whole time because she was like ready to fucking go, and she will like hop on it, and uh, I will fly up uh, 15 feet. All right, that's Kyra. Sarah's going to go. They are going to. Cast Expeditious Retreat. <laughs> oh. As they are going to move and take their uh, bonus action to dash. Now they'll go past you. Um, five, ten. They're going past me? 15, 20, 25, my reaction. 30, 15. Oh, they's running. 20, 25. They's, they's alerting. 30. They're going to get there. Stop. How'd you say? I want to get to about there and then take stock of what movement looks like. So that's that's 15 feet I just did, I think. It was one, two, three. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my last point to do falter fleeting to give me 15 feet of extra movement. There goes all my points, which lets me get there with 10 to spare. Uh, for this first attack, when I attack, uh, I'm attacking Thurl, by the way. I'm it's going to use Great Weapon you. Master to take a negative five. Roger, dodge. Take a risk. Look Hoop. at them hovering over the Come ground. Come on! Oh, nuts! Oh. It's a miss. Oh, man. Man. Bold of you to attack with Great Weapon Master against the hasted boy. That's <laughs> fair. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> You're right. I'm going to swing around again. Oh, darn it! Fuck. It misses. <sighs> oh, At least you're in their faces now. That's true. This guy's moving really fast. Anyone who could help me box him in, that'd be real useful. And that's well, that, that's me. What you're doing, Ape? I don't. Ape escape. I'm going to risk the opportunity <laughs> attack. Get him. Beat him up. Multi attack, you bitch. Do it with your hands. Go hey. monkey crazy. <laughs> how how fast are uh, Ape? They are. I have 30 feet a moment. Nice. That hits? Yes, cool. Hucka, where's my Punch him with language? your hands. No, Regan, like Ape Regan's like fist in fist, just conking down <laughs> on top of his helmet. Sometimes, you know, sometimes they just don't roll very good. Uh, uh, did he lose it? As as Monkeegan shows up and decks him <laughs> in the face, just like, a glazed look, cr like cover their eyes over as they seem to become lethargic. Ha! Uh, 
and unable yeah, to move it's... very much. They have lost <laughs> concentration on haste. Nice. Sometimes that right. that's oh. what happens. Okay. The first fist that's clobbers me. them in the face. The second one, as they become lethargic, their greatsword slams down, nearly cutting your hand. You have to recoil back, unable to f uh, finish your strike. Nice. That's okay. a big that's and nice for him. So Tyboss is gonna go again. Um, he is going to Munkin. continue what? wailing on the person. He has not hit once. How can he? The <laughs> power is up in the air. All right. Yeah. And he will uh, continue then he is going to, to <laughs> turn around and step through the door and close it. What, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what a pitch! <laughs> what a pitch! Uh, I too would have done that. He disappears. <laughs> the things I'm gonna do to that door. Oh. Like hit it. Like, <laughs> like, like open it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that's that. Top of the round, Krusk. Uh, as you're plummeting through the void blackness, <laughs> you find yourself on a jagged staircase on the side of a cliff. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. <laughs> Throw goes. They I are again. lethargic from haste. <laughs> I'll get to the bottom eventually. One day. Just when we cut to Krusk after this, I have been falling for ten minutes! <laughs> <laughs> Sir Radolf turns oh. and begins running towards this window. He's going oh. to throw his spear at it. Uh, Maxine, he's left your range. Walk he's gonna jump too! Fucking <laughs> get him! You annihilate this bitch. <laughs> Melt him. Melt him. Yeah! yeah. Melt him. Woo! Beach. I can't divine smite when it's not my Take turn. Take can. Take can. can. Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to you first can't do level. You can the other smites to avenge my baby. Pyo! <laughs> Bonk. Yes! Well, he's um, fucking dead. Mr. Radolf explodes. Uh, Maxine, Kyra, can you both roll me perception checks? Uh-oh. Okay. I'm good <laughs> <No. laughs> oh, no. Am I good at though? I'm not good at those. Okay. Oh, neat. <laughs> uh, Tyra, you notice it. Uh, yeah. As the window shatters and the body flies out of it, there's a brief instance in the blackness. You're, you're almost not sure, uh, but after a second, you're fairly positive. There was uh, a pair of darkened wings uh, up against the window that seemed to move out of the way after uh, the window smashed. They were going to fly. It's Aviana. Uh, were... It's Aviana. <laughs> <laughs> it looked roughly humanoid. Alright, uh, that's uh, the dead boy's turn. Maxine! I'm gonna get this door more than I've ever gotten anything before! I try I, to open I, it. Is first. it locked? The door? I uh, kick it. You, as you I, uh as you plant your foot on this stone door, you put all your weight into it, you step back and <laughs> kick. There's a loud cracking sound as you just see the slow grinding of stone against stone and then <laughs> as <laughs> dust is kicked up and you see you see one guy just chilling there, staring at it. It's a good thing you had it there. <laughs> you're still targeting me. Here's Maxi. You're still targeting me. You're still targeting me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, it's, just, it's a very unfortunate day for him, for unfortunately, he happens to be in my way. I raised my yeah. hammer. Uh, <laughs> bonk. Hi. Are we gonna have a fucking problem? You wanna go? I I wanna go. You trying home? to fuck us up? When did Maxine become feral? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean when? <laughs> you see him slowly begin to start turning to run away. Just kill him. I'm a bonk him, <laughs> do it. but right. for for Maxine's standards, I'm trying to knock him out. Okay. Th this guy seems a little uh a little bewildered. Green. Bonk. Ah, uh, that definitely hits. Bonk! Ooh, look at that damage! <laughs> as Again! he turns for one, he takes a one oh, step down the sorry. stairs <laughs> as the back of the hammer collides <laughs> with his head <laughs> and just... He fails a death save for every stair he hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He's instantly dead. I march forward. I'm going up the fucking stairs. All right. You start running up the stairway. As you start running up, you get about 15, 20 feet, and you see off about at the end of your movement, about 10 feet ahead of you, you see uh, one of the other um, knights that was fighting you running up. Oh. <laughs> and that's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Maxine, you scary. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
Mr. Caskbuckle. Oh. I'm gonna start dashing okay. up that fucking up that fucking uh. stairs. You're following me, copycat! <laughs> oh, God, I didn't know you had the catchphrase! <laughs> Have you seen me? Of course oh! I've got a fucking catchphrase! This was the first time I've been fighting with you! <laughs> so well, maybe... <laughs> you just see him kind of looking over his shoulder at the two of you arguing side by side. <laughs> oh, fuck out of you of the, Out of the side of my peripheral, I throw two daggers at him. First attack. That super hits. hi -ya. Yes. Uh, they take six points of damage. Second attack. That Hi super hits. <laughs> and they take seven points of damage. That's I just that. trip on the Ooh. stairs for a second. And then continue to try and run as the daggers blink out of existence. Um, Savra is going to... Uh, they turn briefly as they bring their sword up towards you to try and ward you off. They look to Thurl and they're like, I'm going to go get help. I'll be back. And they, uh, they once again are going to use their bonus action to cast Expeditious Retreat. Ah, you bitch. <laughs> uh, they will use their action to disengage. Uh, they'd have heard it, so yeah, that's what they're going to do. They're going to run for the other broken window. Oh, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. They get into the window frame. Uh, that is Savra. Ajisai. Take two. It's unwise to do this. But I'm doing it. Oh, great no. weapon master! Nope. See, because you yeah. said it never hits when I do this. Great weapon master, <laughs> second attack. Oh, no! Help you! No! <laughs> Stay still! She screams, Ajisai. striking the ground and wall around him. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, say he's stunned. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think move. either of those would hit anyway. Why did I ever bother learning to swing hard? <laughs> it I don't know. Works. You're correct. It never does. It has never ever worked. It's See, the cosmic balance for all the nat ones that Betty's are getting to. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is why you need press. This is why you need crust. You need the bar. No, no. Person. This is the function of the feet. It's to make you intentionally miss more. <laughs> it's a secret feat they put into nerf barbarians and do anti I just yep. want ten more damage. <laughs> is that too much it's to like ask? <laughs> yes. No <laughs> is the answer we're looking for. <laughs> Anything else that you said? Of course not. Kyra, take the hell back. So Thank you. Listen, there's a bitch about to crawl out a window. I gotta look into that real quick. <laughs> no! <laughs> you see him never as, he as, as he brings his sword up. He raises his hand back to his chest. No! <laughs> 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 He's going to use his second, third level Don't slot. Don't you dare! Uh, I want Don't a counter dare. spell so bad, but we need Sandy! <laughs> Do it! <laughs> no! <laughs> we need Sandy. <laughs> You need, to you need to take that one out. It's going they're going to get away. He's going to use his haste action to swing at you, Ajisai. No, oh, fuck you. That's do my it. girlfriend! That is a hit. Of course it is. Mm -hmm. She's a bitch. That makes sense. Ajisai, you take 13 points of slashing damage. Oh. That is going to be Thurl. Maxine. Hey, dude. I'm a, a push past fucking... Casper and continue up the stairs and like do I get to close door? I imagine I get to um, close door. You don't get to close door, but as okay. you you both of you are running forward, you get to the top of the staircase, Maxine. I'm gonna move you over mm. to this map. At the corner, you would see an open door to your right, just around the corner, a closed door um to your back on your left. Okay, I go through the left one. Uh you don't immediately see anything. I go to the other one if I have enough movement. Ah, uh, 15. As you step through that door, a sword swings oh, out. Yeah. Oh. oh, God, I don't lose my rage! Yeah! <laughs> and they're going to probably miss. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong fucking cold! I was yeah. not supposed to be here today. Tie boss. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to do another first level smite. Okay. Four he guys. tried to hit me, so this won't be lethal, unfortunately. No! <laughs> well, much like his friend, without a window to eject from, however, he bounces up the stone wall behind him 
as you hear this massive crunch as his rib cage <laughs> caves in on itself. And there's a flash of divine energy as light bursts out his eyes and mouth and he falls to the ground lifeless. I hope there's I didn't no get one else up here, Casper! Oh, all right! <laughs> so anyway, I'm not saying it's my catchphrase per se, but I'm just thinking you should respect the fact that I have an individual thing within the group that I say that I'm you didn't know like about. There's only like tiny feet going downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> there's already tiny feet going downstairs. That's yes, he's talking. <laughs> Are you walking away from me, Casper? I swear to I'm gonna twist your little head off. He's just like get back. I'm like, oh, what the hell is wrong with her? I, I didn't even know. I just I come walking out the door. I see the person sitting in the window. <laughs> They yeah, they have one hand up on the glass, on um, some of the shattered glass, um, and you see them just looking down into darkness. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I will take some daggers. <laughs> Yeet us. She turns back and looks at you. You know what? We were table friends. I'm gonna bonus act. I'm gonna bonus action dash and get over and hit with the sword. That way I can numb <laughs> that way she can fall out the she window. She falls out I mean. the window. <laughs> Look, they'll fall out the window until they're death non-lethally. Yeah, it's not our problem if the ground chooses not to non-lethal them. Yeah, the ground killed them, not me. <laughs> that is a hit. Get her. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got a one. Uh, <laughs> they yeah. lose concentration. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? Get away from you. Ah. Mm. You should have picked a fight then. Well, yes. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Kyra. Oh, geez, Louise. I heard use the um, help action. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get uh, here. No. And see what the fuck's going on over help there at that window. The other no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Depending on what I decide to do here, I may come back for you to help you. Probably Yay. not. Aww. But you know. <laughs> Yay! <Aww. laughs> you zoom in. You see them clutching their gut. Um, with one hand kind of steadying him on the window, looking down and having a very brief back and forth with Casper. I, I had thought to maybe try to have my broom like fly in front of her and try to prevent her from moving. You could certainly try. <laughs> okay, well then, sure. I'll, uh, I'll hop off of my broom and I will send it to try to like block her way. All right, roll me, let's say, an Arcana check. Okay, I'm good at those. The broom whizzes past out a still unshattered piece of window and uh, attempts to interpose itself between them and the outside. All right, and then I will Matasha's mind with her. Okay. Just block her. Like a yeah. safety bar. Like, like, yeah. Like, oh, it goes yeah, nothing. it's worth a try. They roll a uh, natural 19. They succeed. Oh, oh well. You still do some damage, though. A little bit anyway. Yeah. Blood spurts out of their <laughs> mouth oh. as they collapse. <laughs> I'd say they they slump down and into it, and it begins to sag slowly, but it is stopping them from falling backwards and out. Yeah, she's, oh. like, she's like, grab her, Casper. All right. And that will be Kyra's turn. I'll just say. We're already in this deep. Great weapon master. It's time to <laughs> pass. Go! I'm going to hit you! Yeah! Yes! Hey, their AC is and 17. I, I... They succeed their concentration. They take 31 points I of damage. I am shocked that they succeeded that concentration. Yeah, holy shit. <gasps> I hit. How do you? You did. I hit with Great Weapon Master. Yay! Krusk, you find yourself in an Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Quick jump. Krusk is just jumping through the multiverse right now. <laughs> Do it. Oh, Piers, this was a poor choice of ambush. We'll be better about it next time. But I gotta cut things short. And he looks past you oh, did that and disappears hit? in a puff of smoke. Would you miss this? 10, 15, 20, 25. No. Jesper. Uh, could I just like yank them in? Like, is that going to be like a full action or? To pick them up and pull them in? I'd say, yeah, it'd be More the just... focus of what you're doing. Yeah, I just, I just kind of like pull them in. Given how uh, careful I'm sure you're trying to be. 
<laughs> or if you just want to be like, yeah, then yeah, I'll, I just want yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. you grab them with one hand and yank, and they slump over. Um, they do fall on some of the shattered glass. They land face first on the ground. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. wow. It's like shrug. <laughs> they attacked us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go around that, so it would have been. So, yeah. Ooh. Count. Uh, There's more. Then I will. Here. Then I will bonus action dash down because. <laughs> Maxine didn't see anything, so it must have gone down. <laughs> 30 feet, you're going 30 feet from there. Okay, you are on the ground level. I'm on map. In front of you, there are, these would be open. Uh, you said that would also left. be open there. You, immediately you see uh, a closed door to your left, double doors open to the front gate you guys came in from. Uh, and you see a uh, open door to um, what smells like a kitchen. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Shake's head. <laughs> <laughs> I will go You're 25 on feet in. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, you run in. Oh, hiccups. Uh, 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 you see, around like, oh, oh, in this room, oh. you see a lever on the wall. You see one, uh, a lever on the, uh, you see two levers, I guess. You see one on this wall, and you see one on the back wall over here. I don't know what these do. I yank a lever. <laughs> <laughs> There's a... As you hear a loud thud come out from outside. Oh, that's uh, what that did. Oh, he didn't go that way. <laughs> and I, and I, I just start turning around, making my way in the other direction, but that's me. <laughs> okay. Oh, he didn't go that way. <laughs> <Turn back around. laughs> the floor of the Arby's falls away and you find yourself on the edge of a castle. <laughs> oh, I jump off. <laughs> <laughs> you are having the weirdest fucking like acid dream right now. Yeah. So you're you having all that you flick. are having a vision quest. Casper, carry on deck. Mm. I haven't checked anything. Didn't it go that way? All right. <laughs> he dashes past you. It's thirty feet of movement. Uh, I'm gonna keep going down. <laughs> all right. Oh. So it's twenty five feet. So you'll get there. You have five feet of movement. God, this place is big. <laughs> <laughs> it is a tower. It is uh, a military I, I installation. My, I'll move out by five. I'll just look around. Do I see any like? Because he got roughed up pretty, pretty bad. Is there any like blood or anything down here? Um, there's a good bit. Some of it is from uh, some of the animals you see nearby. As you see, several of the vultures do have. Um, barbs from the Manticore. Yeah, yeah. So roll me. You can use your action to make a perception check if you want. 25? Ooh, yeah. As you stop, you, it occurs to you to look for blood and you look around and there's a lot of it, but most of it seems a little bit dried at this point, given that it's been there for a few hours. Mm. Uh, but you do see a little bit that looks just, a, it looks a lot fresher trailing down to a partially open stable door um, to your southeast. Oh, hey, stop right there. I yell because I know Maxine's right over me. <laughs> <laughs> You uh, feel... I don't have any more movement, I don't think, so that's probably yeah. as, as far as I'll go, but... Yeah, you feel uh, the breeze of outside grace your face as you look over that way. All right, that's you. Yep. I hear the poles up away. Uh, <laughs> um, looking down at your feet, there's a slowly growing <laughs> pool of blood um, yeah. coming Raised out from abilities. the uh, the armored woman. Um, I'll... I will try to medicine check this lady. Okay. Come on. Get above a 10. There yeah! we go. Yeah! You had a negative right. one! Right, you sure turn do. them on their side, and you see just a small pool of blood spill out of their mouth. Both. As from the way they were uh, lying, it was pooling up, and oh. likely soon would have caused them to choke. Okay. Uh, you do your best to cover some of the more heinous wounds dealt to them. Um, they heinous. seem like they're going to be okay. All right. I'll do my best to search here. If anyone's on other floors, just yell if you find any of them. Ah! All right. He's <laughs> 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 two floors down. He's two floors did down. You, did you, is that a, <laughs> did you <laughs> find <laughs> one of them? Yeah, he did, I think. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, gonna... All right. I guess he found him. Which way do you go? 
I am already yelling off toward the direction I saw the things like, ah! you get back here! <laughs> okay, which way? Fuck! <laughs> Casper, Casper seems to be screaming at this door. Okay, <laughs> neat. Through that door, Regan and uh, Casper, <clears throat> and you hear the flapping of wings. Uh, and they begin to get quieter. I think we'll end initiative there. Oh my! Yeah, there's, there was no way. Crust, You're being weird. You find yourself in an enormous chasm. <gasps> I jump. <No. laughs> being led along a crude, narrow stairway. It turns sharply. It has uh, many parts that seem to be eroded uh, over possible centuries of age. You've spent the last maybe two hours walking. After uh, what must have been a couple miles, you end up just on the outskirts of what looks like the remnants of a massive palace or city. There's uh, glittering what look like maybe gemstones or phosphorescent rocks jutting out of different parts of a distant ceiling and a huge stepped pyramid rising at the edge of a precipice. There's a moat that surrounds it and just a thin misted waterfall cresting over its edge. And as you get closer, you make out this distant screaming and wailing that seems to be coming from inside this massive uh, area. Uh, they're still leading me, right? There's like one person with one woman with wings and two people walking, right? She's vanished. Oh, um, she's gone. OK, but there are two figures escorting you. Both have these feathered uh, capes on that dangle just over their shoulders and end about the mid of their back with these light blue and uh, occasionally with little swaths of white robes. Uh, they walk wordlessly. I, I, I don't I don't mean to sound like I'm <laughs> I'm complaining or anything, but but my, my feet are starting to hurt a little. We've been walking for a while. You might have might if we take a break. Uh, taking a break on the cliffside could prove most dangerous. What? Yeah, I, I get that. That's fair. That's fair. Just um, past those gates over there. We will find you a room where you can rest for as long as you wish. Well, good. On her lady's orders, of course. <sighs> All right. Um, lead the way. Uh, what, what were your names? As uh, as you brought up to the entrance, there is a arched door built into a frame that the screams seem to be emanating as loud as they have been at this point. Now, they seem to be in your ears. Uh, is that is that screaming uh, uh, normal around here? It uh, yes. Oh, what uh, what are they uh, what are they doing? They having uh, like a party or something? Like um, I would not wish to be made to make those sounds, but I, I wouldn't am, either. I'm just I, I I just wanted to wanted to know. I'm yeah. unsure as to what I am allowed to tell you. Our ladyship I, has simply told us to make you comfortable. As one of them opens the door, the other one steps through and slams uh, a just the, the hilt of a sword against the wall and just yells, <laughs> shut up in there, as some of them seem to quiet down. They just hear, eh. Silence. A silence function. They know how to behave if you tell them what to do properly. As you're led through another door. Wow. Uh, can I ask, um, just a, like along the way, could I have, um, like, taken some, like, chalk or something uh, and just kind of made little marks as we, uh, sure. as we roll make me, uh Roll me sleight of hand, I'd say. For the hour or two, say roll me, let's roll me three. Nineteen. Nineteen. First hour, you seem to be doing it just fine. No notices. Eighteen. And a natural one. Oh, As you no. get uh, into the third part of your journey, uh, they they notice what you've been doing, and one of them begins wiping off some of the walls near you as they remove the chalk. They ask politely for it at first. Yeah, I'll hand it to them. <laughs> and they throw it off into the abyss. I apologize so, for the inconvenience. This place must remain a secret until the time is right. Sorry, didn't know that. Just wanted to find my way home. If I, uh, if it came to that, <laughs> when the time comes, you will come home as a king. Oh, I, okay. I, one of the other his eyes kind of perk up, like, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> uh, the second one elbows him in the gut. Lately, he's like, you're not supposed to talk about such things. They're probably not going to say anything. Your to quarters me. are this way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he perks up. 
Yeah, pep and a step. <laughs> um, you arrive finally at a, um, there seems to be a distant pathway and uh, a set door with um, that leads into a room. There's a single bed, a dresser, and a table. And you see several people inside as materializing in front of you. The same woman that uh, had originally greeted you glitters into existence. She oh. looks around the room uh, in a very, very slow, practiced motion to each of the people inside who, upon their appearance, immediately stand at attention. Mm -hmm. They, just with two fingers, gesture, and the room is immediately cleared. <clears throat> uh, uh, hello? I hope that the trip wasn't too rough on you. Uh, it was long. Uh, my feet, uh, I could, I could, uh, I could kick back. It wasn't too terrible. Perfect. These shall be your quarters until we can have more suitable arrangements made for you. They right. float ever so slightly too close. May I, may I have your name? They give you a, uh, a thin smile. Do you not remember me? We have spoken several times before. I mean, we met in a dream, but... That's what I thought it was, just a just a dream. I didn't think we had formally met before. I don't think I got your name, did Sometimes, I? Sometimes uh, the training that many of us go through leaves gaps in our memories. I do not begrudge you to forget me. I am Eris. Mm -hmm. Right. No, I, I, do, I do remember you. It's good to see you. I don't remember any of our, a lot of our interactions before, though. Your memories will come back with time. You have been away for right. a very long time, Cross. Uh, how long have I been away? Uh, several years, I would assume. We've been building this in the meantime. Before I attained, they gesture with uh, the spear in one hand. We used to work together? I helped teach you. You did? Incredible. I'm so... I apologize for <laughs> Again, forgetting. I do not begrudge you your memory. These mm -hmm. things happen. Many of ours have wandered off and started lives. They've become heroes, huh. villains yeah, alike. Right. I'm sure, like many, you've heard the call. I, is that the ringing the, in my head? Yes and no. I think you felt an unconscious pull to this place. Not mm. this place, but well, the gesture with a wide arm towards the, valley. the world around them. I believe I have, yes. I didn't know it was uh, the call. I just had this feeling that to to come here. Any who are proficient in uh, magical arts of most sorts are more sensitive to it than others, and ones who have been trained by those so close, uh, even more so. So, um, I don't want to beat around the bush here. Um, I respect one that. of one of your men said, "I would return a king." Or something? Many of us shall. But yes, I would like you to have some degree of rulership when everything is over. I'm not sure I understand the process. Uh, what, what exactly are we trying to accomplish here? We are simply answering a call that has been made quietly for many, many years. And we, you and I, and several others, have all been chosen to take the seats of power that shall be left vacant after a grand reckoning. I see. Whew, that's a lot to take in. Um, uh, what, I what exactly is the, uh, the grand reckoning, if I might ask? It depends on who has the say about it. There are fools in other camps of thought who would wish to see the world burn, destroy itself, but, uh, we see it as more of a, a consolidation of power into the hands of those who would better use it for good and for the people who actually need the assistance that can be provided. Can I insider? Many other people here. Sure. Uh, Eleven. They seem forthright. They seem to believe mm -hmm. what they're saying. All Many right. of my subjects here are all people from more difficult walks of life or simpler places that have not seen the luxuries of the grand cities of our world. I see. But we have arrived in a place where so few can enjoy the pleasures of this world freely 
as they so choose. And instead, those who work and build up the societies they live in are unable to partake in such things. I see. I myself have seen many people uh, unable to do. Enjoy the luxuries of life. Many in a position of power, royalty, political power, depending on where you might live. They don't care to change such things since it doesn't particularly affect them. Mm -hmm. I believe that the rewards of the labor that people put so carefully into lifting us up into the positions we hold should be rewarded appropriately, don't you think? Sure, yeah. I believe everyone should have a fair shot at having a, a life of that they can be proud of. So my subjects here find themselves quite comfortable so long as I can make them so. What is this place as well? They were meant they they mentioned that this place was uh meant to be kept secret. This is a this is a city, correct? A palace, more like. Um okay. this is my palace and my temple. With all that said, what do you what do we, what do you need from me? Uh, For now, I wish you to just remain comfortable. I have some business to attend to down below. What, yes, what's down below? Is, you shall be informed of that when the time is ready. And uh, you are... They take one thumb and just rub it along one of your cheeks. And you're a little bit more prepared. Okay. Well, thank you they for raise hospitality. Their hand and you see two people enter the doorway with a pile of clothes that they rest on the bedside nearby. And uh, several come in with different platters of food and uh, different drinks. And they are all set out on the table. Um, I left some, uh, I left some friends back at the uh, eastward. At least I think it's east. May, would it be possible for, I don't know, for you to bring them here? We will do our best. I've received some communication about your friends. Um, and I, I didn't wish to tell you this so soon, but I believe that some of them may have passed. W what? From what? Uh, it appears there was an attack on the knights that occupy the tower up there, and they had done their best to protect everyone they could, but unfortunately, some of the numbers were lost. I don't know the names just yet. I'll, I'll try and get those to you. Yes, pl please do. I hope they're all right. I hope they made it out. All In right, any well, case, those who um, we can find, we will try and bring and make as comfortable as possible. I hate to be the one to bring you such terrible news. No, everything is everything is fine. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll just go ahead and lay down. Thank you. Hey up your cheek and on the hand once again they just look you in the eyes and they just hold your gaze for a few seconds rest well uh, uh, thank you kind of shift his eyes away like not knowing what to do <laughs> looking into this very pretty lady's eyes they <clears throat> turn and they start walking towards the door as similar to last time now in better lighting you can see their wings almost begin disintegrating as dust seems to be coming off of them, this glittering bluish white just particulate coming off of them as they slowly disappear. Hey, we'll uh, just watch her go and um, starts just pacing around the room, thinking about his possibly dead friends. As uh, the two people that escorted in their things, they drop to one knee and bow to you. <clears throat> we shall be waiting outside if you need anything. I will keep that in mind. It Everyone will. back at the tower. As Crust glides down, thinking that some of you may be past, what are you all up to? Maxine, stop hitting me! <laughs> How many of these fucks did we leave alive? I don't know. Ah, I'm bored. Well, I know where one is. Okay, well, Regan? Yes? Could you try to go see if we can secure some of the birds? Yeah, I can do that. I am going to go and make sure that Oriana's father is still present and keep an eye on him. Okay. She'll quickly take Ajisa's hand and just kiss the top of it and then go try to find some birds. Hmm. I love you, Regan. Well, one of them has my respect. And I uh, is. Yo, Maxine, can sure. you come with me? Yeah, sure. Where are we going? Going to talk to that one bitch. Oh, <laughs> She's going to crack her knuckles. I'll leave that to you guys. 
Uh, do we know where Oriana's dad, uh, where uh, Mr. Darun, do we know where he is? Uh, no. No, you haven't seen him. Starting on the floor that I'm on, <laughs> searching clockwise on all the doors around that floor before I move on, would I locate him? Oh, oh you know what? Let's do counterclockwise, given where I am. Is anyone in here? Uh, on the inside, you see an elderly man, um, probably in his 60s or 70s. Uh, he's in brown robes uh, with a little uh, bluish-white belt tied up at the middle. He's got uh, what looks basically a sharpened butter knife, and he's just in the corner with very wide eyes staring at you. Hey, why are you scared of me? Uh, they heard a lot of violence. You know I don't know you. You know anything about it? Uh, Do you know where Lord Darun is? Uh, his chambers uh, should be upstairs. Where? Uh, he would be in the same floor as the Great Hall. He's just one of the, um, <laughs> you know, he's the he's the second one on, it's not the left, it's a circle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect personality to give this fumbling character. <laughs> so, so second, second floor? If you don't stab me, I can take you there. Which floor are we on right now? We're on the ground floor. And so the next one up is the second? Uh, uh-huh. Unless you're in, like, I don't know, Neverwinter, and then for some reason it's ground one, two, because they're stupid. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have these opinions that you have. I don't know if that's true. I've never been there. I, so so there was an attack. Okay. Um, some of the was knights... you? No, we were attacked. Okay. <laughs> We've been staying as a guest for the past day or so, and I just feel like walk over, like hands up, sort of way, uh, and just kind of get close to him and kneel down. We we we've been staying here for uh, the past day. I don't know how you avoided seeing us. We've been pretty loud, but we've been here for a bit. Um, I've been huffing steam in the kitchen. Were you cooking? No. <laughs> what does huffing steam mean? I was putting steam into my lungs. <laughs> Okay. Why? Right, so Why? Do you, you just have bad sinuses, or? Nah. <laughs> nah, indeed. Okay. I'm gonna die, Aaron! You gotta stop! Sir. <laughs> I don't... What is your relationship with the knights here? I work for them. You don't well, know. Oh, no, I lost my job. No, well, You're not yes. gonna throw me off the side of the tower, are you? I'm not. <laughs> okay. Sir, okay, now that I have a good understanding, we've been here for a bit, or we lost our friend. And then when we tried to find our friend, the knights turned on us, so we think that they are either being controlled, lied to, or being paid by some very bad cultists. So, when they attacked us, we did have to put many of them down. We tried to save them, but we did have to, unfortunately, kill your bosses. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, it's pretty bad, I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> But we don't want to hurt anyone else, so if you can take me to Lord Darun's chambers, or if you just want to walk out the front door, or even stay here, really, if the, this is your tower now, as far as I'm concerned. I'm probably going to leave pretty soon, but I might steal some shit. Do that, please. <laughs> okay. is there, do you, now take me to Lord Darun. Okay. He's he might be the only the good knife. one. He starts hobbling towards the door. You, yep. Interrogation <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! What are y'all up to? Oh, you know, there's some places upstairs. There's like some bedrooms and stuff. I reckon if we take the mattresses and fucking put them up against the window and we close the door, they can't escape. Escape. Cool. Sure. Let's do that. Yeah. I, I take them upstairs to where the bedrooms were, where that one guy tried to stab me and it went very wrong for him. So you're going to the third floor bedrooms? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And then uh, I will like pop the person down on the floor unceremoniously and start like just ripping off the bedding bedding and taking the mattresses and pressing them over the windows. As Max is doing that, I'm going to put her hands behind her back and uh, create a set of manacles around them. What yeah. are your morals on this type of thing? Because like I've done this sort of thing before, but it's a bit different than when Ojisai and Crust collected their mind reading bullshit. Um, I don't want to kill her unless, you know, we have to. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. All right. No murder. Got it. Unless, you know, she's an evil cultist or something and she tries to attack us, in which case, go for it, I guess. Um, yeah, all right. She's gonna smack Kyra across the face once, right? Uh, ow! <laughs> <laughs> and 
and then she's gonna turn, put her hands on the captive, and do five lay on hands. And I'm gonna wait for them to wake up. You put the uh, the uh, uh, healing energy through their body as they sputter for a second and their eyes slowly open. Hey there. Hey. Oh, what now? Well, we were hoping to have a talk with you. There appears to have been some kind of misunderstanding, and I was hoping we could clear that up. Well, clear away then, friend. It's not like I can do anything about it. You said we were enemies of Waterdeep, right? They nod their head. Who did you hear that from? Thurl. I, have I one mean, third. we'll make this very simple. You've got ten fingers. We think you're lying. We break one. We run out of fingers. We go to toes. I've been tortured before. I'm not going to betray the city for you. So if you think that I'm going to give you whatever... We're not... Hey, we're not going after the city. We're just trying to figure out what your part of this is. You say we're enemies of Waterdeep. I take it then, and you're protecting Waterdeep. Of course. That's my job. Squints. Right. And by Waterdeep, you don't mean like a cult. Based on an elemental thing, do you? You don't know what you're talking about. We don't know what we're talking about, then explain. Uh, you talk as though there's some massive cult it's planning the destruction of the city. We are <laughs> not some evil organization. Well, I'm sure you don't think that. Uh, I don't know how I could convince you that I'm not. Maybe by explaining things, if we can see reason in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I don't see why we'd continue pursuing, but the last cult we fucked with was trying to do some crazy shit. Who knows, you could be a peaceful yeah, cult because they're all Neanderthals. Mean. As opposed to? As opposed to people trying to make the world a better place. So you don't deny that you're part of it, then? This whole elemental group? Again, we're not, we're not like those other losers. I know uh, I'm not raging, Kyra? but I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> as you uh as you see her like looking for words occasionally, uh if you look at the background decal, you see that inverted triangle symbol just occasionally flash over their eyes <gasps> as it they seem to take a moment of pause, shake their head and continue processing. Okay. Yeah, okay, you're trying to make a world a better place. How are you gonna do that? <laughs> I don't know all the details. I tell us what you know. I know that we've saved a lot of people from starvation. We've pulled people from the slums of the city, given them purpose and work. I know that we protect the city from things like those manticores and things like those thugs that you all did a great job at dealing with, by the way. Thank you. Okay. So, do you have a, like a place you, you go, like you report back to? or I go here. Where everyone else goes, I don't know. Do you have a leader that you know of? Do you know who that would be? Yeah. You have no idea where we could find them, do you? She's fairly powerful with magic. I... No. No, they could be here right now, and I wouldn't know. Looks to... Kind of looks to Maxine. Makes a motion with her eyes, like, if you, you got any questions, now's the time to ask them. Do you know the place we were talking about? Which one? With the birds and the bones. Yeah. It's just to the east. It's low. And it's... Hard to miss. Once the fog clears out, you'll be able to see it clean as day. If I told you that we were, in fact, friends of Waterdeep and was able to prove that, what would you think of that? What would you would you be willing to help us? Of course. My, okay. my, my, my purpose is to serve the city, nothing else. Are you aware of a uh, Sir Ambrose Everdon? Uh, the name vaguely rings a bell. Knight of Kelimvor does a lot of good for the city, helped him take down a necromancer at one point. Hmm. That sucked. If I could put you in touch with him and you could ask him to verify our trustworthiness, would you uh, would you be interested in that? I suppose so, but could you do it on a timeline that wouldn't make a difference here? Uh, she reaches into her bag of holding and pulls out the sending stone that Everdon gave her. This is a sending stone that he gave me. He has the other one, and... Uh, you can use it to ask him, though I would prefer you ask aloud so we know what you're asking. Oh, right. Fuck. You're, man you're manacled. You. Uh, she will wave away the manacles. <laughs> and she puts the 
sending stone in her hand. Ask him if Kyra Volcora and Krusk Bensley can be trusted. I know about Krusk Bensley. To whoever owns this stone, identify yourself and tell me what you think of Kyra Volcora. Yeah, we can't hear it, so we're just kind of <laughs> waiting on her. They, they <laughs> sit there in silence for a bit. You fought a fucking necromancer. <laughs> sick. Yeah, it wasn't as it wasn't that sick. I died. Oh. Yeah. You yeah. get used to it. I throw the stone back towards you. Catches up. And? I still don't fully trust you, but having someone like him vouch for you uh, means something. Well, for whatever it's worth, which you just said is not much, we don't want to kill anybody else here. At least not yet, until we can determine what the fuck you guys are up to. Most of the people who are able to engage in proper combat were sent to capture you earlier. That did not go anywhere near as planned. Sent to capture us? And do what with us? Keep us here, or take us somewhere? One of two things. They would have consulted with Thurl and Our Lady. And then if deemed to be a threat to the city, uh, you would be cast down to the rocks below. If you were deemed to be perhaps misguided, then they would likely attempt to bring you around to a more reasonable position. Okay. Well, I think, hopefully, we can be great friends. Oh, but hopefully, <laughs> we're gonna have to go and meet up with uh, with uh, the others. I think at this point. Oh, and by the way. Uh, oh no! Yeah, go up? ahead. You know, you say your thing. I was gonna say we're bringing her with us. What? Oh, uh, Max is gonna lean down and be like, "By the way, those losers put up much more of a fight than you did," and she's gonna knock her out. <laughs> I don't know. <really> oh. Attack. <laughs> Just fucking punch her. Yeah, roll a uh, roll an unarmed strike. Uh, you don't have advantage anymore. Oh sh I really hope I don't fuck this up. <laughs> go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Sorry. Hey, uh, sorry. Step out of the way and grab your hand and shove it off. Ah, fuck. Let's uh, uh, if we're trying to be like nice and easy with these people, let's let's not let's maybe not oh, incite any more violence. Right. But you are well, coming with us. You coming willingly or what? I should have asked that first. You coming willingly <laughs> or what? <laughs> Hopefully we can be friends. I don't know if her and I are gonna work out. Lead the yeah, way, sweetheart. Most people have gotten along with much more. I will lead the way and uh, motion for Maxine to follow her. Maxine's right. not letting her get personal space. Where are mm. you guys going? We're going down to try to find the re to find the others. All yeah. right, uh, Regan and Casper. And then she just kept hitting me, and I just don't know. And that wasn't listen, very fair, right? Listen, listen, I think you might have deserved it just a little bit. Oh, that's not you... very nice. Listen. If you yell it like that, if we are ever trying to be quiet or stealthy in any way, you will immediately give away our position. And also when you yell like that directly next to me, it's rather loud. Have you ever thought about that? If I were to yell in your ear right now, how do you think that would feel? Well, yeah, but that can't make it all the way up to your ear. Oh, I'm really, all right, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I should I should have thought <sighs> about it. I was in the moment. I, I'm the, all right, yes. all right. This you might, think it's my things bad. through just a little bit. Of course, of course, of course. My think about how what you do is going to affect the others around you, please. I'm actually not very used to being in a group, uh, but uh, I, I'll do my best. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. All right, you are forgiven. Now is the time to learn. Let's just try to speak to these birds, all right? Course, you said of one of them already liked you? Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, the, well, they called it... Uh, they said a name on him. Uh, I'm probably just giving him another one. You, you just stop for a second and look back and you see one staring you down. Oh, there and you are. Your, your, your heart tells you if any of them is the same one, <laughs> it's that one. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to like try to make my way over to it. It looks back to Regan. What, what are we trying to do with them? What are you trying to get to see if we can get them to, to listen to us? Not what we're trying to do. Okay, just give give me a moment. Um, she's going to slowly start uh, weaving motions with her staff and cast uh, Speak with Animals. What are you doing? Are you okay? Did, did you see anything strange? You see its eyes almost narrow. Strangers have come to our tower. 
And the tower's master has fled. Who's the tower's master? The one who commands the others. Okay, um... Is there anything that you think you might want to ask them? We have ten minutes, and she'll look at Casper. Are you actually talking to him? Yes. That's so cool. That one is brave, but stupid. Yes. <laughs> I don't, I don't, maybe you could ask him if he can if he can help us find find Krusk. Like if he can he can take us some he can take us places. Take us somewhere. Right. Would you be willing to allow us to ride you once more? A, f a friend of ours, a friend of the tower, has gone missing. My master is not here to tell me what to do. Why should I trust you? Because we are a friend of the master. We only want to help, and we only want what's best for you and the master. Roll me deception. Okie dokie. I have a plus one. I'm deception man. Look at me go. <laughs> 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 If you wish to find him, then I can help you. Thank you very much. My name is Regan, but this is Casper. Casper? Yes, he's the one who attempted to tame you, if you remember. None can tame me. <laughs> I gathered. You're quite strong. Yes, it's like looking yes, back and forth between the two of them. <laughs> one What's of the strongest, on? I take it? The strongest. From of another course. one, strongest my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that one's talking. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> yeah, you just hear all your ears. <laughs> Scraw! One stands up. Scraw! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, they're getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you would be able to convince your companions to help as well? They will aid if I go with you. Leader I didn't hear that oh. As he looks past you, Regan, you look over your shoulder and you just see four figures silhouetted by moonlight, with one just holding a knife a few inches from Casper's throat. <gasps> oh. As you see these Bring large splayed black wings coming out from each of them. <gasps> as Casper, in, in in your ear, you just hear quietly, Who are you? Oh shit! Ah! And that's where we're going to end. No! Oh, no! Come on! One of, the, one of the birds tries to help. It points like, quickly, young man, get down. And all you see is it point with its tongue. Ah! Go, oh. <laughs> oh, just imagine, like, whenever Regan, like, said, like, Casper, get down to something like that, I just hear her screech at me. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. I, oh, I can't wait to play two months from now. <laughs> <I'm>, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good, guys. Dude, well, well, unless Aaron's, they decide to like sacrifice me. Well, Aaron's sorting yeah. all that out. YouTube side, mm -hmm. uh, I believe it's time for us to go. Yeah. Hello. Bye, YouTube. Goodbye, YouTube Bye. side. Bye. Bye. See you later. I'll keep toasting. I'm gonna appreciate it.